It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Whether you're looking to buy or sell with a REMAX agent, they'll use their years of experience to help you plan for now and later. From when this... Welcome to your new home, baby girl. ...turns into this... Yeah, we're going to need a bigger home. And this... Oh, I hate this place. ...turns into this... I'm really going to miss this place. From tiny steps to your next big move. When you're ready to make a change, visit Remax.com or download the Remax app to find the right agent. The right agent can lead the way. Each office independently owned and operated. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just $2.79. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. The previews and breakdowns don't stop on the latest episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast. And buckle up. We're headed out west for round two. Oilers, Canucks, Avalanche, and Stars. We're breaking it all down for you on today's episode. Your Locked On Fantasy Hockey. Your daily podcast on fantasy hockey. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team every day. Springtime hockey rolls on. And on the Wednesday episode of the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast, we're headed out west to take a look at what is sure to be a couple of juicy matchups. Avs taking on the Dallas Stars. Canucks going up against a red-hot Edmonton Oilers group. Thank you so much for joining us. Shout out to the everydayers holding us down, making us your first listen every single day. We wouldn't be here without y'all. And shout out to everybody tapped into that big Tuesday episode. That one got a little spicy steel. Might not as be as spicy on today's episode. However, today's episode is brought to you by Game Time. Download the Game Time app and create an account. Use code Locked On NHL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply. There's going to be a lot of applying some heat to today's episode steel. We're going to keep this rolling Monday through Friday, all summer long. Round two, baby. Take it where you want it. Maybe let's start Canucks Oilers because I think this one has a clear cut angle that we're going to cover. However, over to you, my friend, wherever you want to go. If that's where you want to start, let's start with Vancouver Canucks and Edmonton Oilers. I'm in the same boat. This is a clear-cut take for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll leave my prediction to the very end, but let's start with the X factor for the uh, for the Edmonton Oilers. And I'm going back to who I said it was in the first round series, and Mm -hmm. it's Evan Bouchard. They need to have the they need to continue to have that superstar stud on the blue line. We saw him have a huge impact in that first round series against the natural predators on the power play five on five shorthanded. He does it all for them right now. And after an 80 point plus regular season uh, career high for him and then continuing to dominate in back to back playoffs, he continues to make a very good case for him for being one of the top young defensemen in the league right now. Uh, Obviously I'm not going to put him in that same tier as guys like Kale McCarr and, you know, a few others, but he's, he's on his way. He's He's close. Yeah. He's there. He's getting up there. So, I love what I've seen from Evan Bouchard so far, and obviously you want to continue to see some some other depth players uh, continue to get their get get theirs. Evander mm. Kane, hopefully he rolls into into uh, this Canadian matchup with a high intensity. Uh, Ryan Nugent Hopkins as well. You know Zach Hyman continue to do his thing in front of the net, but again mm. the elusive uh, the elusive star defenseman who can do everything on the power play, five mm. on five transition well, jump up into the play. Evan Bouchard seems to be that guy for Edmonton, and I just love what I've seen for him. So I'm going back to him for being the X Factor in this series. I love that, Steele. He's my X Factor as well. Look, when you have a, a guy like that with a booming shot from the blue line, those guys don't come around very often. And take a look around at the Kale McCars of the world, what teams can do when you have that option on the back end. Then you sprinkle in this elite special teams play from the Edmonton Oilers, which you and I have covered at length. The penalty kill suffocating during the first round, and then they're rolling on the power play. That's really hard to stop. Let's bring this up, though. We know the regular season is a totally different beast, and the playoffs are its own season. The Vancouver Canucks took all four games in the regular season this year against the Edmonton Oilers. Just got to throw that caveat out there. 
But when it comes down to this deal, and hit me, oh, hit me with your take on this because this is not exactly a tangible thing. But no disrespect to the Nashville Predators, but Vancouver is now going from dealing with Nashville, who very pesky, very complete. They grinded it out, and now you got to have the offense of Connor McDavid blow in here. That just might be too much to handle for Archer Shelovs. And I actually really like what that kid has done. His numbers are sensational. Yeah. He comes in and he gets a shutout in the playoffs, and he's never, ever seen the playoffs before. That's credit due for sure. And I actually like him as a sneaky option moving forward as some goaltender insurance in the fantasy realm if he's going to be the backup in Vancouver. Thatcher Demko might be back at some point in this season, uh, this series. I just don't think they have enough to go up. When you look at that top six in Edmonton steel, my goodness, there is just, it's going to be very difficult for this Vancouver Canucks team to handle it. However, I think if my X factors, yeah, I'm copping out, come into play for Vancouver, it's really the only way. And if you're okay with it, I'll hit you with that, but hit me with your take on what I just said. Yeah. And honestly, if we're going to X factors for the Vancouver Canucks, I think she loves is going to have to be one of them. I have another, another name in mind as well, sure. but it's not going to be the same case for them. This was, you know, you go look at yeah. that Vancouver Canucks Nashville first round series. That was probably one of the lowest, the, the lowest, if not the lowest shot attempts and shots on goal series yep. that we've ever seen, uh, mm -hmm. especially through a six game series, be a different and, brand of hockey coming up. And, and they went through three goaltenders and just looking at uh, the stats from, uh, from she loves. Yeah. The stats are great. I believe he has, let me just pull it back up here. One second, a nine thirty eight save percentage and a 1.70 goals against average yeah. Absolutely incredible with that one shutout, like you said, but he's only facing 26 shots per game. You know, that's not, that's not a, a low number, but it's not a high number at all. Like yeah, he hasn't really been tested. Has he, he hasn't been tested with like some of these, with some of these, these, you know, you know, cross crease, uh, cross stream, mm -hmm. Uh, uh, passes that we've seen throughout the NHL and throughout the playoffs so far. And we know the Edmonton Oilers are going to pepper him with puck. So that's going to be a huge factor in this series is he's going to see a ton of rubber. He's going to see a ton of players in front of him in the blue crease, digging and battling away at Vander Kane, Zach Hyman, like I've mentioned. So that's going to be an X factor for me. Yeah. Arthur uh, Shilovs of the Vancouver Canucks. Can he continue to be dominant? Like we see what, like we saw in that first round series, but I think you also got to look at uh, obviously the guy who sort of disappeared in the first round series for the Vancouver Canucks and Elias Pedersen, three assists in six games for Pedersen, a minus two, uh, only had eight shots on net, not Dude. good enough. Yeah, eight shots in a six games in a six games in the first round, not good enough from Elias Pedersen, not no. good enough of, of what the organization expects out of him and. Just like we've seen a couple of stars so far that he's disappeared. Uh, and I'm really hoping he can be in, in that conversation, be in the game, be in the series against this talented Edmonton Oilers team. It's an all Canadian matchup in the second round. Who moves on? Who's going to mm. be a Canadian team that takes it to the glory land for all of Canada? Who knows? But I mean, it's going to be a tough series for Vancouver if both mm. Shelovs and Elias Pedersen don't show up. So, first and foremost, like before I get to a couple of more points and what you just said, are we backing either of these teams as Canadian hockey fans? Like, should we just throw our support behind Edmonton? Because you know, Canucks fans would never ever support well, I, Leafs. I, I know you are. I know you are. Cause you have Edmonton as one of the top teams in the Western conference as a Canadian. I'm a hundred percent backing both of these teams. Okay. I mean, I lived in Vancouver for a year. I'm not going to say I was a fan by any means, mm -hmm. but I lived there for a year. Um, yeah, but yeah. these are two Canadian teams, and I would love to see the Stanley Cup come back to Canada for I don't know how long it's yeah, been me now, too. what, over 30 years? So Too long, I too mean, long. Not fans, not, I'm not a fan of the team, obviously, because I'm a Toronto Maple Leaf fan, but mm. I'm, a, I'm a Canadian, and I'm a, a fan of Canada. So yeah. let's go Canada, let's go, uh, <laughs> let's go to the Canadian teams, let's get it done. Big fans of Canada on this podcast deal. Speaking <laughs> of which, later on in the show, we're taking a look at a juicy Av Star series. We're, uh, you got any bets for tonight, Steel? Because I got a couple of bets to throw out there as well. Same game parlay time. Let me leave it at this. The penalty kill for the Vancouver Canucks during the regular season was only clicking at 79%. That was 17th best in the NHL. And now you have Connor McDavid, Leon Dreisaitl and company rolling in there. Very confident bunch offensively, especially on the power play. If Vancouver doesn't tighten it up on the penalty kill, 
this might be over in 3.5 games, Steel. That's how quick they're going to get dealt with. I know we're going to take some heat in the comment section. By the way, continue to smash that subscribe button. Yes, sir. Drop us a five-star review. We love the comments. We love the back and forth. But we're not here for the hate. So make sure you're bringing some proper hockey takes, just like we're going to continue to do for the rest of the episode. Steel, your predictions very quickly for this series. I got Oilers in five. I also have Oilers in five and, and, and I was battling and it's just because again, if, if Elias Pedersen doesn't show up, yeah, it's going to be, be four. very, very tough series. So I've got Oilers in five, my mm -hmm. best bet for this series. Yep. I'm going with, yo, this is crazy. They have Dakota Joshua. I know. At minus minus two, six. Six. Yeah, I this don't, is insane. I that, think that's a that mistake. Is, that has to be a mistake. That's that a typo. Clearly, yeah, that's clearly a mistake yeah. on, on, on their part. They're going to have to fix that. But my... Best bet for this series, mm. Leon Dreisaitl, point leader, plus 410. That is a juicy odd, and I'm just going to cop out and go with the McDavid series point leader at minus 115. If you're looking at value, steals is the angle to go with. If you want to play it a little safer, I think both of those bets, though, steal. Maybe the McDavid angle, you slap it into a parlay to get a little bit more value out of it. Dreisaitl, yeah. chuck a 20, and thanks, steal later. Both could definitely happen. What's going to happen right around the break is we're going to do the exact same thing we just did. Dallas, Colorado. Honestly, Steele, that's the series that I am going to be paying closer attention to because I think it's going to be much closer in how it shakes down. However, we'll do that right around the break. Today's episode is brought to you by our friends at Game Time. You never want a stressful ticket buying experience, and that's why you're using the Game Time app. You can customize everything, last-minute deals, flash deals, zone deals. Easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area that includes views from your seats in the venue, lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection, and everything that you need to take the guesswork out of buying tickets. Buy NBA tickets with Game Time. Download Game Time app. Create an account. Use code Locked on NHL for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Terms apply again. Create an account. Redeem code L-O-C-K-E-D-O-N-N-H-L for 20 bucks off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets. Lowest price guaranteed. However, today's episode is also brought to you by Indeed. Indeed is the hiring platform where you attract, interview, and hire all in one place. We streamline the hiring process with powerful tools to find your match candidates. With Instant Match, over 80% of employers get quality candidates right away the moment they sponsor a job. Shout out to Indeed. Start hiring now with a $75 sponsored job credit and upgrade your job post at Indeed.com slash locked on. Offer is only good for a limited time. That's Indeed.com slash locked on. Terms and conditions apply. Need to hire? You need Indeed. And thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Are you still watching on Fox mm. Sports or ESPN, though? Have to turn down the volume with all that shouting. Make the switch to Locked On Sports today, a free 24-7 sports streaming channel program for you every day to bring you the biggest stories without all the screaming. Locked On Sports today brings you can't-miss analysis, opinions, news, streaming 24-7 on YouTube or the free Amazon Fire TV channel app, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your Ooh. team, every single Ooh. day. Continue to hit the subscribe, the follow button, leave a five-star review for both Flip and I, we appreciate mm. all that love and support you show Big us time. Monday through Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning is when you can find our episodes. Colorado Avalanche, Dallas Stars meeting yeah. in the second round. Mm. Avalanche have had a long time off. Not Maybe not a long time, but they've had some time off. They mm -hmm. win that series 4-1 uh, to one against the Winnipeg Jets. The Dallas Stars go a seven-game series with Vegas. So this is a little bit of a mix. This is kind of throwing me for a whirl for game one. Sure. Uh, just because of what we saw last night or, you know, a couple days ago with that Boston Bruins, Florida Panthers, you know, Florida Panthers one and five, Boston went to seven. They had all this momentum picking up and Boston steamrolled over Florida Whoa. in game one, five, one. Whoa. Did not expect that to happen. 38 saves from Swayman again, starting to cook. Swayman. Top five goaltender in the NHL. We're going to have to talk about hey, that in the offseason. Top five fantasy once. goalie? I would top put five him fantasy close. goalie. He might Pretty be. Close. He might be. Yep. Linus Allmark might be getting, uh, and might by, be getting traded. Yeah, that's my bad. I totally forgot to ream off my Canucks X Factor. So let me do it very, very quickly. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Got to be that third line. Dakota Joshua, uh, Elias Lindholm, and Connor Garland. Somebody on the Vancouver Canucks, not in the top six, is going to have to throw an offensive wrinkle at this Edmonton Oilers team because you know they've got that going. 
So for me, it's got to be depth scoring. I know Pedersen, that's one of, that's an obvious one. You brought that up. But for me, during the regular season, and you brought it up many a time, Dakota Joshua and Connor Garland, the third line, I know Lindholm wasn't there the whole season, but that was an effective line for them. Dakota Joshua throwing his body around, Connor Garland skating around, getting some goals. Elias Lindholm, we know what he can do. So very quickly there, that was my X factor for the Canucks. Their third line is going to need to be a lot better than they were. Maybe not a lot better, but better. Whole team's gonna have to be really good going up against this Edmonton Oilers squad, go. but you know, just, I guess that goes that goes in the same vein with my X factor for the hey. Dallas Stars a little bit. Okay, um, my X factor for the Dallas Stars in this matchup, it needs to be the superstars. It needs to be the first line, top line up mm. up front, as well with Miro Heiskanen as well. They need to show up in this series because just looking at what we saw in the first round, yeah, Robertson had five points, but he was a minus five. Heiskanen had five points, but he was a minus six. And then you go to Hintz, who had only one goal in the series, and Pavelski, who had zero points. It's yeah. not good enough because no. we know this Colorado Avalanche is going to get theirs all the time, like we saw in round one. 20-plus goals in that first-round series in five games. They yeah. dominated offensively, uh, and that's something that we did not see from the Dallas Stars in the first round. You know, the uh, Besides the first game, a lot of low-scoring games like I predicted in that matchup. I don't know if it's going to be as low-scoring in this second-round series against the Colorado Avalanche, but mm -hmm. for the Dallas Stars, they need to be as good or even better than the Avalanche's top line, and that, that needs to be proven in game one. Hey, this one was a really hard one for me to predict, and I think all those angles that you just highlighted are all going to play into this being a battle. But a battle in a different sense of the other ones that we saw this this playoff steal. You know, Bruins Leafs, that one really was grinded out. Um, and I think this one, we might actually see a little bit of a fireworks show. I don't know if that's a bold prediction considering it's the playoffs. But I think, and let me just spit out my X factor for the Dallas Stars, considering all of that firepower that you mentioned and what we saw from the Colorado Avalanche in terms of their ability to just turn it on, uh, yeah. especially in the offensive end. I'm looking at their second D pairing, the shutdown pairing of Chris Tanev and Essa Lindell. They are going to need to be all over Massive. the McKinnons, the Rantanins. They're going to, Chris Tanev's a big boy. He needs to throw his body around a little bit more and really start to affect their ability. I think last week, maybe two weeks ago, right? You get, I said, you get pounded five or six or seven times. When you go back to play the puck and go to do Kale McCart things, you're double taken because you don't like to get put on your bottom too much. And that's the kind of impact that that second D pairing is going to have to have. They are going to need to shut down somebody. I don't know if it's the middle stats or the Lekkonens of the world or the big boys, but they are going to need to snuff out some part of that avalanche attack. As much as I really do like their offensive ability and ability to respond, I don't think this Stars team wants to play run and gun with the team that really is the best run and gun team in the NHL. So cl clearly the entire Dallas Stars team has to just be going at all times because I'm <laughs> saying the I'm saying the offense needs to be an X factor. You're saying the blue line needs to be an X factor. <laughs> X factor for the Colorado Avalanche, though, is actually the blue line for me. They oh. need a strong blue line. They need to protect the area in front of Alexander Gorgiev, clear out all that garbage, clear out all the players in front of him. Don't let the box out, clear them out of that area so Gorgiev can get a clear eye view of the puck and cover those rebounds when needed and continue to activate their defensemen into the rush like we saw in the first mm. round series. Don't go don't you know don't get too uh don't get too far up there and you know let yourself get beat on a on an odd man rush but jump up in the play, add some variety, add another yes. pass option for, you I know, like Nathan that. McKinnon with the wingers out there like we saw in the first round series, activate mm. the defensemen, box out in front of Gorgiev and they're, they're going to they're going to make easy work if they continue to do that. Ooh, easy work might be a tad bold, but I see where you're going with this. I'm going back to the same old X factor that I had in the first round because I went to go put down Georgiev, but I think that one's far too obvious considering the weakness we know is highlighted on this team is the goaltending. Um, I'm going with the same guy I had in the first round, and then he went off. Arturi Lekkinen has yeah. proven to be a playoff performer. He's gotten it done for them multiple times and in very big fashion, series clinching goals, game-winning goals. He had a goal in each of the first-round games. He has eight-point steal. He has four even-strength goals. He is really doing it again for them. And what is the most important part of this X-Factor pick? 
He's playing on the top power play unit with Kale McCarr, Miko Rantanen, Nathan McKinnon. I don't think we need to say anything else. He has another big opportunity here to not only continue to contribute steel, but I think once again, be an X factor. Um, all of the things that we just highlighted, something's got to give, right? Because both of these teams, in my opinion, I obviously have my take here and I'll spit it out. Stars in seven. I'm leaning stars. I think this is going to be a close series. I had stars in six, but I thought that was too bold considering how good we know. This is a Stanley Cup winning unit for the most part for the Colorado Avalanche, right? The Dallas Stars do not have that. So there's something also to be said, I think, from that angle. Hit me with your take, though, because I have no idea actually where you're going with your prediction. I love the fact that you're sticking with your guns. You've been on the Edmonton Oilers. You've been on the Dallas Stars all yep. season long. So I love that you're, you know, you're standing behind them, but I will not be standing with you oh. there. Colorado Avalanche in six for me. Oh. Um, I I think there's there's just too much power both on the blue line offensively. Casey Middlestad, Zach Parise, or Terry, like all these guys that you mentioned, the depth scoring was a huge factor for the Colorado Avalanche in that first round series. Uh, against the Winnipeg Jets, I think they're going to con- continue to be a huge factor with mm. depth scoring as well as activating yeah. their blue line. And then again, Gorgiev after game two or after game one, really, he stood on his head. He was really good for the Colorado Avalanche. So I'm going with Avalanche in six. Okay. Um, my best bet for this yeah, series, and I absolutely love it, Valeri Nachushkin to be the leading goal scorer at plus Ooh. 650. He led plus the first round. Yeah, Juice. plus 650 for Nachushkin. He Juice. led the first round series with seven goals yeah. for the Colorado Avalanche and in the entire first round series. I'm not quite sure why McKinnon and Ranton are above him when they pass the puck a lot more. Mm. Um, very, uh, Valeri Nachushkin is not a, much of a passer, but he gets the rebounds. He gets the pass from those two players, mm-hmm. and he was dominating. So I'm going with Nachushkin plus 650 goal leader. I think you're really going to like my best bet steal four plus goals scored in every game of the series. So you're telling me I'm going to get plus money here at plus one Oh five for four or more goals scored. I'm really liking, I don't see too that's many. A good one. Two, I don't see too many two, one games in this one. Steal yeah, three, two, one. three, two. I see four, two for sure. And then I'm well over four goals. So four plus goals in each game of the series at plus one Oh five. I think that you're going to see that number start to really dip. Jump on it now while you can, and you can thank Uncle Flip for that one later. I got a couple more bets, though, Steel, for tonight's action coming up right after the break. Bets after the break for Wednesday night. But first, this episode is brought to you by Monopoly Go. We've all been there either as a player or a fan. It's halftime, and the scoreboard is not looking good. You're feeling low, not sure you or your team can pull out a win. That's when you dig deep, lift your head up, and say to yourself, time to get back in the game, pull off some bank heists, and take as much of my friend's money as I possibly can. That's right, the smash hit mobile game Monopoly Go lets you compete with your friends to get the most riches and the biggest empire. It's the Monopoly Monopoly you love, but on your phone anytime with tons of new twists, including leaderboards to compare your progress to your buddies, and there's just so much to do. Play on countless dynamic Monopoly boards, make your friends bankrupt by smashing their landmarks with a wrecking ball, Charge other players, rent for your iconic properties. You can even work with your friends to crack open community chests and in tournaments to get extra rewards and climb that leaderboard. So get back out there, put your game face on, and download Monopoly Go, now free on the App Store or Google Play. What's up, guys? Trey Matthews of Locked on Devils here. And let me tell you about Discover Credit Customer Service. Looking for an assist with your credit card but can't get a hold of anyone? Luckily, with 24-7 U.S.-based live customer service from Discover, everyone has the option to talk to a real person anytime, day or night. Yep, you heard that right. You can talk to a real human in customer service anytime. Sounds like a real game changer if you ask me. Make the right call and get the service you deserve with Discover. Limitations apply. See terms at discover.com slash credit card. And once again, thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen Shoot. every single day. Continue Shoot. to hit the subscribe, the follow button, leave a five-star review. We appreciate all that love and support you show us Monday through Friday. Mm. Like we said, big time bets. Here's where it's at. If you don't oh. mind, I'm just going to list off all three of mine. I'm liking well, this. I forgot my best bet night. again, Steel, for Canucks Yo, okay, Oilers. Okay, I'm really, okay, I'm go, really slipping on this, and I know all we got good. stuff to do today, so that's my best bad. bet. Best bet. Series leader, sorry, the Stars to win the series, minus 115. 
was the second one in addition to the four plus goals. I forgot I had two there. I know I'm copping out. That's my bad. I just had to throw that out there because, like you said, sticking to my guns and I'm not shying away. Please take it away. I'm sorry to keep interrupting you, my friend. All good, my friend. We got to get those bets out there. So mm -hmm. I love the fact that you got multiple, but big time bets where the money is made for Wednesday night. Two games on the schedule. <coughs> He's back. Excuse me. Excuse me about that. Still, still, <laughs> still recovering. Recovering from, uh, from a sickness. Let the guy. No, recovering from a sickness. Yeah, I had yeah. to catch my breath and get a cough out. But two games on the schedule: Bruins, Panthers, Oilers, Canucks. First two picks come from that Oilers Canucks game. Mm. First pick: Oilers on the money line at minus one thirty four on it. the road in Vancouver. Uh, like I said, this is going to be a five game series. It could be less potentially, but I'm going with five. But minus one thirty four for the Oilers. Absolutely loving that odd. And yeah. then I'm going to pair that up with a McDavid anytime goal. Uh, I love McDavid to maybe pop one in this game one first before he starts passing the puck and facilitating like we see him okay. do. And my lock of the night, you know, this is going to be a little bit of a cop out just from mm. what we saw in first game, but I'm teeing it up to under six and a half in the Bruins Panthers game. It is currently Ooh. at under five and a half at minus 124. And I think you, I would even be comfortable taking the under five and a half at minus one twenty four. But sure. it was six goals in the first game. Again, that was a, it was a long time for the for the Panthers to wait for the Bruins to get into the second round. Maybe a little mm -hmm. bit of, of I don't know tiredness, laziness. Once they, you know, once that came around, but maybe a combo. I'm 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 going to tease it up. It's going to be a little bit of a higher odd, but under six and a half is my lock of the night. I love that steal, except. I'm doing a little bit of the opposite in another game. I'm going okay. to tease this down in the Oilers game and take the over five and a half. You're getting minus 160. I'm a little bit concerned about taking the over six and a half, which is why I'm going hitting that alternate spread. Make sure you're tapped into FanDuel for all the latest. Minus 160, along with Oilers money line in my same game parlay. Oilers money line would be my lock of the night. I think they come out and really set the tone in yeah. this series. I expect them to do so along with Connor McDavid anytime assist. And okay. as much as I understand your angle, and you're probably going to get a much better odd for the anytime goal, obviously, in Connor McDavid's career against the Vancouver Canucks in 40 regular season games, he has 64 points. That's more points against any other team in his career. And how about this? In those 40 games, deal. 41 assists. He's better than an assist per game player. So Oilers, money line, lock of the night, teasing it to over five and a half. And McDavid, anytime assists. I don't want to jinx myself, Steel, but I'm going to be hammering that one. Absolutely love it for game one. Oilers, Thanks. Canucks, feeling this Western Conference matchups right now. Thank you so much for making the Locked On Fantasy Hockey Podcast your first listen every single day. Once again, go check out Locked On Sports today the first ever national sports 24-7 streaming channel on YouTube. You can also find them on the free Amazon Fire TV channel app. They are here for you 24-7, covering the top sports stories of the day with local experts, plus the national shows covering every single league. So make sure you go subscribe, check it out on the free Amazon Fire TV channel app. And once again, thank you so much for tuning in for today's episode with Flip and I. Have a great day. Good luck with your bets out there. And we shall see you back here again tomorrow. Peace. Whether you're looking to buy or sell with a REMAX agent, they'll use their years of experience to help you plan for now and later. From when this... Welcome to your new home, baby girl. ...turns into this. Yeah, we're going to need a bigger home. And this... Oh, I hate this place. ...turns into this... I'm really going to miss this place. From tiny steps to your next big move. When you're ready to make a change, visit Remax.com or download the Remax app to find the right agent. The right agent can lead the way. Each office independently owned and operated. We all have that friend who wakes up early to go get everyone McDonald's breakfast while the rest of us sleep in. This is your sign to thank them. And if you're that friend, this is us saying thank you. Just a friendly reminder that right now, get any size iced coffee before 11 a.m. for just 99 cents. And a satisfying sausage McMuffin with egg is just $2.79. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 
Welcome to another round of Drawing Board or Miro Board. Today we discuss technical diagramming with systems architect Maya. Let's go. First question. You've spent 10 hours slogging over a sequence diagram that should have taken five. Drawing Board or Miro Board? Drawing Board. And if I'm being honest, Miro would probably cut that time down by half. You know, with its AI tools and ready-to-go templates. Next, your diagrams become so bulky, it's more complex than the solar system. But all it takes is a few clicks and... It's it's Miro. I've used those technical shape packs way too many times, and stuff is just digestible on its infinite online canvas. Now, the final question. Everyone's brought in, but you have to make all these tasks all the way over in Jira. But wait, it's done. Is it Miro? Easy with its two-way Jira sync. Easy to plot dependencies. Everyone always knows what's up. And she's done it. Join over 60 million people creating technical diagrams without workflow glitches. Get your first three boards for free at Miro.com. That's M-I-R-O.com.